Ladies and gentlemen, let's play netball. This is game number seven of the Mission Foods Nations Cup 2017 between Ireland and Cook Islands. First up, please welcome to the court, Cook Islands. Here's your starting seven. Goal shooter, Maine Crystal Maru. Goal attack, Alana Matamaru Smith. Wing attack, Majori Katrina Toru. Center, Ashley Mary Ero. Wing defense, Denzel Choi Naara Teremoana Rogo Kia. Goal defense and captain, Luciana Nicholas. And their goalkeeper, Eri Teana Short. That is your starting seven. Joining them on the court are Alexandra Naomi Ero, Ananya Pauline Perry, Anastasia Salanoa, Leah Cherie Pue, and Nina Ty Robert. Their coach, Dale Atkinson, manager, Amanda Sushan, Physio Talia Rout and video analyst Jessica Sushan. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for Cook Island. And now, please welcome their opponents, Ireland. Here's your starting seven. Goal shooter, Fiona Morrissey. Very good afternoon and welcome to day three of the Mission Foods Nations Cup 2017 right here at the OCBC Arena. We are in Hall 6, right in the middle of this fabulous billion dollar property known as the Singapore Sports Hub. This match, match number seven between two unbeaten teams, Ireland and the Cook Islands, we've just had the start of the match. Cook Islands in possession right now. Well, the Cook Islanders have arrived at this tournament as uh, one of the two unranked teams. Uh, they're unranked because of the uh, number of matches that they really haven't played. But let's not forget that at one time, they were ranked as high as seven in the world. Let's see the first attack. Great goal there by Alana Smith. It's the first goal of the game. And Cook Islands have possession. Great defence there by Ireland, creating a turnover there. Well, as I was saying about the Cook Islanders, they are ranked. They were ranked once as high as seventh in the world, and uh, in their two games so far in this tournament, they have shown how good they are. The only team to score more than 60 points each in each of their appearance, 
69-35 in the opening match over Malaysia. That's another goal there coming for the Cook Islands. They lead 2-0. Ireland with centre pass. Well, Cook Islands, 69-35 in the first game over Malaysia. And a 64. Sorry, that will be 48-33 yesterday over Hong Kong. My mistake there. The other game that went into the 60s involved Swaziland. But here we are, two teams with undefeated record. Ireland have really outdone themselves this time around. Bouncing back really from our five straight defeats to Singapore to beat the host 54-53 in their opening match. And uh, yesterday, Ireland played Malaysia and won 48-34. So two wins for the Irish. They're hoping to make it three in a row. They've been known to be notoriously slow starters. And as we see here, they're behind 3-0. But don't bet on them not coming back in this game. Great shot there. Alana Smith with another goal there for the Cook Islands. see that wasn't reflected on the score. It's still 3-0 to uh, Cook Islands over Ireland. Good movement there. And an infringement by the Irish defender. It's a missed attempt by goal shooter Maine Maru. But an interception there by the center, Ashley Eero, also the vice captain, has created yet another opportunity for the Cook Islands. No mistakes this time from Maine Maru. Cook Islands good for a 4-0 lead and yet another interception of the center pass. But a quick infringement there has created a turnover. Ireland have possession back. Good pass there. Momentum carrying the Cook Island defender into the uh, Irish defender. And they've opened accounts here. Ireland now are on board. 4 1. Fluent movement there by Cook Islands. Great goal from distance 5-1 Cook Islands ahead right now <laughs> quickly Ireland have found himself back on the board it's 5-2 now center pass to Cook Islands Not too much forward momentum there, taking their time. Interception by Ireland, nearly. We see the Irish now starting to come back into the game, as they did yesterday against Malaysia. A lot of defensive pressure there, resulting in a missed pass from the Cook Islands. The Irish have back the possession, and they'll try and find, they'll try and find their way back up court good range of passes there the Irish center Kirsty Owens is a key player for the team she has been displaying a fair bit of game now finding players in space as we saw there in her pass to the Irish vice captain Jan Heinz, who got away with that goal there. Yet another opportunity for Ireland. We now see the gap being closed to 5-4. Well, it's the third day in a row that Ireland have played the opening match of the day here at the uh, Mission Foods Nations Cup 2017. I'm sure they are enjoying you know, the rhythm 
of being the first to start off the day each day. And uh, it hasn't been a bad outing for them. Two wins from two games so far. I think they're hoping to make it three wins out of three games, you know, starting off three days in a row. But here's another goal for Cook Islands. 6-4 now, they're ahead. Center pass to Ireland and then a quick infringement. Still, Heinz taking the pass there. Poor attempt. Possession back to Cook Islands. Plenty of useful, useful spirit here from the Cook Islanders. But that looks like a foot fault, creating a turnover for Ireland. And again, quick movement up the court. Misplaced pass there. And the game is now coming the other way. Cook Islands in attack. Nice pass. Not completed there. Ireland have back the possession. And again, having taken the time to settle into the game, Ireland are now back within range. The score stands at 6-5. We are midway through the first quarter. Cook Island center pass. Great vision there to find the goal attack. And a quick score for the Cook Islands to take back a two-point advantage. Infringement call there. Christian's a bit ambitious there with the pass. That's a turnover to the Cook Islands and they'll now look to take advantage of that turnover. Long range pass finding its target. Quick hands there by Owens to deny Cook Islands. Infringement there. We now have the ball advancing to the top of the D. This is where Cook Islands need to make it count. But a great block there. And back we come. The Irish attacking. Jan Heinz with another field attempt there. She'll get it right, I'm sure. Marjorie Toru there with a great pass into the middle. Completed by Maine Maru. Cook Islands now with a three point lead and a chance to make it four from the center pass. Empire playing the advantage there. It's 9 5 now to the Cook Islands. A near interception. The, the Irish need to resettle as they did quite brilliantly earlier. Yes, 
a good attempt there to distract the goal shooter there but all in vain as Ireland pull one back from Fiona Morrissey it's 9-6 now still in favour of the Cook Islands great idea there and it's still Cook Islands possession great positional play there contact the Irish defender did enough there to put off the uh, the Cook Islands goal attack resulting in a turnover And quickly, the Irish have come back up the court. Ball in Heinz's hand. Neat little shoot. And a goal. Now within two goals. 9-7 to the Cook Islands. It is a bit surprising not to see Melanie Ingram on court right now. I'm sure she'll play some part in this game. Later on, Melanie Ingram was responsible for most of uh, Ireland's goals yesterday against Malaysia. Again, they've elected to start with uh, vice-captain uh, Jan Hines in a goal attack position, accompanying Fiona Morrissey in goal shoot. I'm sure there'll be some positional changes later on from coach Joan Young of Ireland. But right now, it's not doing, uh, the Irish are not doing too badly. They trail by just one goal, 9-8. But we see here a Cook Islands attack. And a turnover. So Ireland now with a chance to tie up the game. Good movement. Great pass there to Morrissey, who misses with the attempt. Possession still to, the, still to the Irish, and playing it to herself off the post. Quick thinking there from Fiona Morrissey to create that goal. We've got a minute left, and the scores the score is now tight, nine apiece, with Ireland in attack ball to Jan Heinz takes a long attempt misses with that one and the second attempt goes in and it's the Irish lead for the first time this game with uh, the final minute of the uh, first quarter we've got Ireland in front 10-9 Cook Islands in the unfamiliar position of playing catch up now having led for most of this quarter they are now actually behind they were leading by as much as, uh, by as many as three points at one stage, and now seeing themselves pegged back by a very determined Irish side. Good score there with just 12 seconds on the clock. Seconds counting down. The score is tight, 10 all. Possession back to the Cook Islands. Two, and we have the end of the first quarter. A very nice ebb and flow there with Cook Islands going quickly into the lead and the Irish fighting back as they have shown in the last few matches 10-0 at the first quarter stay tuned
27 of the Mission Foods Nations Cup 2017, the, the game between Ireland and the Cook Islands. It's 10-all uh, after the first quarter. This is the second quarter. One change there for the Cook Islands. Nino Roberts coming in at wing attack in place of Marjorie Toru. Neat work there. Ireland go back in front. 11-10. They get the first score of the second quarter. Still the lineup we saw them starting the game with. An in interception there by the Cook Islands. And nearly quickly won back by the Cook Islands. Or rather by Ireland. A quick interception there by Kirsty Owens. Cook Islands regroup. Ooh. That was a close one. Could have been a great interception there by the Irish centre. And that was an interception there, creating the turnover for Ireland, who now come back up the court. But another loose pass there. And we're back with the Cook Islands on attack. Great movement there. The ball now in Cook Island's hands. And a goal there from goal shooter Crystal Morrow. I've been calling her Maine from the start of the game. Apparently, she prefers to be known as Crystal. Crystal Morrow. And a failed attempt there for a long pass from Ireland. We have possession back to Cook Islands. We see Nina Roberts there getting quickly into the action in wing attack. Let's see the Cook Islands reset for this one. They've got the center, the wing attack. And the two forwards in play. An, in an infringement call there, creating the turnover. Ireland back in attack now. Looks like obstruction. The Irish advance. And Heinz now with the opportunity to create something there. Well, that resulted in a turnover. Contact call on Heinz. Yes. Another turn turnover has resulted. There we see the Irish making full use of their height advantage over the Cook Islanders. And there's a fair bit of experience as well in the Irish team. And just like what we saw in the first quarter where and, and also in the game against Malaysia where uh, youthful uh, energy took charge in the early goings. It is the Irish now who's using the full range of experience to get themselves back into the match. Tight defense, creating mistakes from the Cook Island players. And having just said that, we just saw a mistake by the Irish from the uh, vice captain, no less, for that turnover. And again, another turnover there. We see the Cook Islands back in possession. Yeah. 
Jen Slater there, a key player for Ireland, trying to stop the momentum from the Cook Islanders. And indeed, they have stopped their goal-scoring opportunity. The pair of Slater. And Katie Walton working really well there to stop the goal shooter and goal attack of the Cook Islands. Now we've played more than five minutes of the second quarter already and it's still only just one goal apiece for these two teams. Defence really coming into play in this quarter. As we now see the Irish trying to make it two. Indeed they do. Ireland 12, Cook Islands 11. And the opportunity to go two up. Except for that interception there. Although the umpire has blown for an infringement. And it's possession back to the Irish. So a grimace there from uh, Birmingham there, from Kate Birmingham. I think if you're down and on a court, it is a very, very physical game. Plenty of contact. And the umpire has been kept busy. Great pass there. Morrissey scores. It doesn't count the ball back in Cook Island's possession. Not a great passage of play we're having here. Plenty of infringement uh, being created. Plenty of turnovers as well. Just very patchy from both teams. We're not getting that fluency, that fluidity that we saw in the first quarter. And obviously that's reflected on the scoreboard as well. As the Cook Islands pull one back, they pull level. As two goals apiece in this quarter, 12 all. And the umpire has blown again for an infringement by the Cook Islands. Possession back to Ireland. Slater to Owens. Owens to Morrissey. Morrissey's attempt to play the ball wide. Unsuccessful there, but good thing. Ireland have possession back. That looks like an infringement on Owens. Pass back to Morrissey. Goals for goal. Unsuccessful. It's a turnover. Just a series of misplaced passes from the Cook Islands, preventing them from going ahead. And there, an interception there. But Allen quickly working the ball back up the court. Great pass. Should be an easy one for Morrissey, and indeed it was. Ireland now ahead, 13-12. And the centre pass to come. Good vision there. And Morrissey tidying up from where Heinz has missed. Ireland go two up, 14-12. Now the Cook Islands attempt to regroup. Yeah. The Irish force a turnover there. A three second rule. And quickly the Irish move the ball back up the court. Owens. To Jan Heinz, great pass there, but she stepped out of court. 
Turnover to the Cook Islands. Just working the space. Great cross, cross court, quick hands. Moving into great position there for the Cook Islands goal attack. But that attempt didn't go in. Lana Smith there, unfortunate. And now we've got an Irish attack going again. Except it turned, ended in a turnover. Well, I wish I had a, a counter for the number of turnovers this quarter. There seems to have been too many of them, and in fact, more turnovers than we have goals. We have only six so far in this quarter, four to Ireland, two to the Cook Islands. That ended the first quarter tight at 10. We're now looking at a 14-12 score with the Irish in front and the Cook Islands hoping to close it down to one point. Good goal there. Nice long range shooting from Alana Smith. And indeed it's 14-13 now. Center pass Ireland. Nearly intercepted there by the goal attack. Cook Islands goal attack. And now just a little bit too ambitious. That pass there from Kate Birmingham. Possession back to Cook Islands. Hoping to capitalize on this and tie this game up for another time. Contact. It's been great watching the Irish pairing in action. The Irish defensive pairing there, their captain. Genevieve Slater as well as the goalkeeper, Katie Walton, the two of them. Just disrupting play for Cook Islands. Not enough that time around, Cook Islands score. We've got the score tied at 14-0 right now. Possession in for Cook Islands. And they want to go back in front. Oh, great attempt there. And successfully intercepted goal shooter. Crystal Maro there getting the ball back quickly and scoring off that possession. 15-14 now for the Cook Islands. Two minutes left in the second quarter. Nice great pass there for Ireland. Hitting back quickly, tying the game up yet again. 15 all. down to the final two minutes of the second quarter. Which of these teams will take the lead at halftime? Or are we going to end up just as we did in the first quarter with the scores tight? It has been a very, very scrappy quarter. Uh, not a lot of fluency from both teams. Perhaps that's just the defense starting to find their way. And we see a turnover there as I Ireland get the possession back. And as they've shown in the last two days, they are very, very strong finishers, especially when the clock is running down. And here we have a an opportunity for Morrissey, for Morrissey, who scores there. That goal from Morrissey, taking the score to 16-15 for Ireland. And a quick turnover of their possession, as we now, as they hand back the initiative to the Cook Islands, with the clock running down. That was offside. And we've got a, another turnover as the as Ireland get the ball back in hand and hoping to make it a final score for the second quarter. A final score for the first half, even. Another hasty attempt from uh, Jan Heinz that didn't go in. 30 seconds left. Can Cook Islands tie up this game? Not with passes like that, as Ireland get back possession and move the ball quickly back up the court. 
Back to Owens. A bit of a lob that didn't find its target. Now we've got Cook Islands with that final possession and the final goal attempt for this half. Great goal there. 16 all at half time. A very scrappy quarter. It is 16 all. Cook Island 16. Ireland 16. We go into the half time break. Stay tuned as we will come back later for the second half of Game 7 here at the Mission Foods Nations Cup 2017. If you want to come down and play our mystery game, you got to stand up, dance, make some noise, wave your hands, let grab my attention, let me find you, okay? So I'm going to look for three people right now. Where are you? You got to stand up, make some noise. Move, stand up. I can't hear anybody. Does anybody want to come down and play? One of you? Sure. 
number two. Wow. You guys are really good. Like, that came to a lot quicker than expected. Job, guys, congratulations. So do you want to know what you want? Okay, let's go with you, Ayn, first. Ayn, what do you think you want? Okay, I want to tell you, you don't know, okay. You want yourself an F1 goodie bag. Congratulations. All right, what do you think you want? You also don't know, I'll tell you. Green hula hoop, right? Are you scared? It's an A6 bag. Yay, congratulations. And Bianca, you want yourself a Deloitte umbrella. Yay, congratulations. our first giveaway of the day. We've still got plenty of prizes to give away and two quarters and two games to go for the rest of the day. So if you want to bring home some prizes, don't be shy. All you need to do is stand up, wave your hands, make some noise, dance. Let me know that you want to bring home some prizes. Welcome back to Game 7 of the uh, Mission Foods Netball Nations Cup 2017, the match between Ireland and Cook Islands. We see three changes for Cook Islands in the second half, as well as positional changes. Coming in, Anania Piri. We also see uh, the debut of Alexander Iro, as well as Leo Pui, in place of Eri Short who's gone to goal defence, sorry, they are in place of Luciana uh, Nicholas, um, Cristo Maro, as well as Nina Tai Roberts. Well, the half-time score was 16 all. We haven't seen any changes in score yet. It is an Irish attack now. It's we see Francis Duffy there, taking the shooting duties. And I believe that's Melanie Ingram who's just come into the game as well. As the Irish go one up, 17-16. Nope, that's uh, Morrissey who's staying in the game from the first half. Great shooting performance for her as she goes for another goal. Two quick goals from Fiona Morrissey. Ireland quickly go two up, 18-16. It's the uh, Cook Islands now coming back. I see Trish Fanning has come into the game. Uh, Francis Duffy has gone into goal attack. And uh, Jan Heinz in place of Jan Heinz. Trish Fanning there coming into wing attack. And Francis Duffy moving from wing attack into goal attack. Another quick goal there for Ireland as they now go three up. 1916. It looks like a change side. Whoa, a collision there from a two Cook Islands player. As Ireland take advantage of the man of the uh, 
of the numerical, well, take, well, take full, <laughs> full count of the um, numerical advantage there. They're now four up, 2016. Cook Islands regroup. Leah Pui there. A failed attempt. Her first shot at goal. And she makes no mistakes from her second shot. 2017. Back to Ireland now. And Fanning. Really active. But just running out of space there. She's not the tallest player on court as we see. Trish Fanning, 162, but she's so full of energy. Whoa, a bit of good fortune there for Cook Islands. But the umpire has blown for an infringement. And now Cook Islands take an attempt at goal. Nope. That's too elaborate there. A missed opportunity for the Cook Islands to pull one back. Handing the initiative back to Ireland yet again. As they make confident strides up the court. Owens there. Passing to no one except an opposition player. And now Cook Islands get the possession back and hoping to make the most of it. An extra step there. And yet another turnover. Ireland back in possession. An intercept by Cook Islands means they have the possession back. Leah Pui. Nice lob. Great goal for the Cook Islands. And now it's 18 20. 18 to the Cook Islands, 20 to Ireland. Ashley Eero there just being knocked off balance. Unintentional, I'm sure. Quick hands there. Cook Islands starting to find some momentum as they pull another goal back. 20 to 19. And again off the centre pass. A bit of untidy play there as the ball finds its way back into the hands of a Cook Islands player. And now here's another attack from the Cook Islanders. That was a bit of clever play. Getting the ball off the rim. Bit of a self rebound there as uh, Leah Pui scores there to tie the scores up at 20 apiece. It has been a tight match, this one. We saw there Ireland taking a four goal lead and then conceding four straight goals again to. Uh, to see the game tight. Contact. And Duffy with her attempt. And an infringement call. And a turnover to the Cook Islands. As we see them making their way back up the court. An attack down the left flank. Ashley Euro there. Oh, great hands. Great pass. Yeah. 
Cook Islands are back up. 21-20 to the Cook Islands. As Ireland look to tie it up quickly. And indeed, we have a tight match midway through the third quarter. 21 all. Neat play there. The Cook Islands wing attack. Great hands to Ashley Eero. And now an attempt by the goal shooter. 22-21. Let's see what the Irish can do. Ooh. Almost found its target there. An infringement call. Kirsty Owens with a chance to... Or rather... Francis Duffy. Ball back in Duffy's hand, not confident enough to take the shot as she passes it back out. Now it finds its way to Morrissey. A rebound there. And Morrissey makes no mistake from his second attempt. We have yet another tight score here 22 all. Cook Islands in possession. Misplaced pass there. Ireland playing their way back out from their own half. Slater. Great pass there to Birmingham. Birmingham. Just a slight knock. Go off balance. Trish Fanning. Owens, Slater. Not much advancement here. And an interception by the Cook Islands defence. Just wasted there with a misplaced pass. As Ireland regroup. And now find themselves attacking again. Good running there from Duffy. And the idea was great, but the execution wasn't the, wasn't the best. As, uh, d uh, as Fanning's pass did not find uh, its target. Cook Islands now back in the attack. Alana Smith there, scoring. As she switched from goal attack to goal shooter in this quarter. Cook Islands good uh, for a one-point lead right now, 23-22. As we've seen the Irish not take advantage of most of their attacks this half, uh, this quarter I mean. But now, back to Morrissey's safe hands. And she scores yet again. It's seven apiece in the third quarter. 23 goals each. And an uh, ambitious pass that uh, doesn't find its target here. As we have Ireland back in possession. Just clean, steady passes. The Irish have been executing on this play. And now Duffy 
wants to work herself back into position. Owens to Duffy. Oh, well done. Morrissey there. And the Irish go back up. there to the center and now we see Leah Pui with another successful attempt she's been a bit of a game changer since she's come into the team in the second half Cook Islands 24 Island 24 and Alana Smith there Getting back up after being knocked off her feet to quickly catch the ball and to put the ball into the net as we see the Cook Islands go ahead yet again. 25-24. Ireland on the attack, attempting to even the score yet again. The ball to Morrissey. And a failed attempt this time. What a surprise. She usually doesn't miss from that range. As you see, the Cook Islands now trying to take, make the most of that turnover. Almost, almost gave it away. Contact call at the post. Cook Islands score from there. It is now 26-24 as they have possession of the centre and looking to make it three. It's a, it's a turnover. One wonders if that, those turnovers are going to cost either of the teams as we see yet another one as the Cook Islands get the ball back but that long pass there just not finding his target and we have uh, Cook Islands outscoring Ireland in the third quarter 10 goals to 8 the total score is Cook Islands 26 Ireland 24 stay tuned as we go into the break and when we come back the final quarter of this game between Cook Islands and Ireland.
Welcome back to Game 7 of the uh, Mission Foods Netball Nations Cup here at the OCBC Arena. We see a very, very tight match between Cook Islands and Ireland. It was tied after at halftime, or rather tied after the first quarter and at halftime, and it was nearly tied after the third quarter as well, but it was Cook Islands that managed to uh, keep their composure to take a two-point lead. We start the final quarter with them two points ahead. But it is Ireland that has the first goal of the final quarter. Good hands there by Fiona Morrissey. As we see the score now, 25-26. 25 to Ireland, 26 to the Cook Islands. Very, very vital quarter. It's all going to be won and lost right here in the next 15 minutes. Possession squandered by Cook Islands as Ireland now look to make the most of this attack. No changes in the uh, final quarter there. We saw the Cook Islands shooting to a very, very uh, quick lead right at the start and then Ireland finding their way back. We also saw a very scrappy second quarter where both sides scored only six goals each but the third quarter has been a lot better. And now we're hoping for a humdinger of a finish to this match as we see Cook Islands in possession. And she has been a real revelation since introduced at halftime. That's Leah Cherie Pui of Cook Islands as she puts the ball in yet again. Cook Islands back to a two-goal lead, 27-25. Ireland now. Duffy. Duffy a step nearer with your attempt. Successful. Ireland back within one. 27-26. Nearly there. Nearly. Near interception there from uh, the Irish. And a long range shot there. Unsuccessful. Second attempt now. This time, Alana Smith. 28-26, Cook Islands. Well, here comes the Irish, Trish Fanning there. The quick pass, Duffy. Back out to Owens. And an interception there, great one. Cook Islands come away with the ball. Eero there, having the ball back again. As it was uh, Ashley Eero that created the opportunity with the inception. Completed there by Alan Smith. Cook Islands now three goals in front. 29-26. Long pass there. Contact call on the Irish. As we see the Cook Islands now getting the opportunity to work the ball closer to the net. Pui now getting the chance to put the ball in as she does. 30 to Cook Islands, 26 Ireland. The Irish will need to start finding something back from this game as they quickly concede a turnover yet again. And now the Cook Islands with the win in the sails, hoping to create just a bit of a greater gap. Nice work there. Back into Alana Smith. And she's good from that range. That looks like three unanswered points there. As the Cook Islands go five points in front. And the opportunity for another goal missed there with the misplaced pass. And now the opportunity for Ireland to come to make something of this. Quick hands. And an infringement call on the Irish player, Duffy. As 
It looks very much like the game has shifted once again as the Cook Islands find themselves upping a gear. The ball is with Alana Smith, who scores from two metres out. It's a six-point gap now, 32-26. Ireland finding themselves outpaced by the Cook Islands. Stepping out of court, Duffy. Momentum carrying, carrying her over the line as the Cook Islands now have possession and the opportunity to make another goal from here. Pui. Great shot. 33-26. Very quickly, it has become a seven point game. If the Irish want to make anything happen, they've got eight and a half minutes left. To close the gap is not impossible at all. We can see, we've seen before how fast the ball can be moved up the court. But Cook Islands now, really working the space. I think with tired legs as well, is the uh, youthfulness of the Cook Islands team that's going to come into play. As they score yet again to make it 34-26. And a loose ball there, pounced on by the Cook Islands player. And again, they come away. Pui getting the ball. This time, not successful. The Irish asked for a substitution there as Vice Captain Jan Heinz come into the game in a less familiar position of or oh, in her familiar position I mean of goal attack. While the ball goes to the other end as the Cook Islands score yet again. 35-26 now, a nine-point gap. The Cook Islands running away with this game in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Jan Heinz there, and that's an unsuccessful attempt. But the Irish have the ball back. Later, Heinz misplaced pass. Islands in possession. Working the ball patiently up the court. With a nine point lead right now, there's really no urgency for them to try and get the ball moving too quickly. Just nice, steady passes right to the top. A completion from Leah Sheree Pui there, making it a 10 point game now. A quick reply from Ireland. That's their first goal after some 10 minutes of play when they have gone scoreless. 
Cook Islands building themselves a 10-point lead in that period. And now Ireland finally put themselves back on the board. 36-27. Was just a goal drought for most of this quarter for Ireland. After they have been outscored 10-3, having started the quarter with a two-point deficit. Another goal for Cook Islands. Back to that 10-point lead there, 37-27. Offside. As a uh, possession has yet again been turned over to Cook Islands. Great play there. And the long-range attempt from goal attack. Pui, she scores here again. It's now 11 points. I have to say the wing defence from Cook Islands in this quarter. Demziu Joy Nara Ronga, Ronga Kea. She's been doing a tremendous job. She's only 16, by the way. She's been doing a tremendous job in this particular quarter, especially creating so many turnovers for her team. Who now lead by 11 points with just four minutes on the clock and looks to wrap and, and looking to wrap up this game for a third straight win in this tournament. But the Irish have possession right now and working the ball back up the court. Jan Heinz now with the ball in hand. Passing to Morrissey, he scores. 28 Ireland, 38 Cook Islands. Center pass to Ireland. Fanning. Fanning to Heinz, who takes the attempt and misses. Second attempt there. And Morrissey doesn't miss. So Ireland now, now up to 29. Closing the gap to 9 points. Pui with a long range shot this time. Not succeeding. And a bit of a cheeky second attempt there by Smith. And not going in as well. Ireland really finding themselves outplayed in this quarter, having kept the match really, really, really close and unpredictable for most of this game. This quarter has been most telling. But they have the ball right now and moving it up the court. Great determination there by Morrissey. Gets the ball back from Fanning and she scores from there. Ireland now hit 30, 30, 38. As we see yet another turnover. Ball in Cook Island's possession. We've got a minute 35 on the clock right now in the final quarter. That's all the time we have in this game. One and a half minutes. And Cook Islands look like they are about to record the third straight win in three days. Goal there by Smith. Cook Islands 39, Ireland 30. And a quick infringement of the centre pass again. As it's Ireland now that go on the offensive. Jan Heinz with the ball in hand. And she doesn't really take her time with her shots. At all, as she makes this one. It's 31-39. Near interception there. We're into the final minute of this game, Game 7 of the Mission Foods Nations Cup. As Morrissey makes that goal. 
Fiona Morrissey there. She's been quite sharp. But her team's behind in this game with half a minute left on the clock. An interception by Ireland. But now nope, the ball has gone back to Cook Islands. Clock is running down as this could be the uh, final attack of the game. Pui, nice attempt there. Cook Islands 40, Ireland 32. Seconds running down. 3, 2, 1. And the buzzer goes off. As we see victory for the Cook Islands by over Ireland by the score of 40 to 32. This match between two unbeaten teams at the start of the day has resulted in the Cook Islands keeping their unbeaten record in this year's tournament as the Irish take the first defeat of this year. They go down, but all credit to them. The game really decided on a very, very hot performance by the Cook Islands in the final quarter. So we have the result here. 40-32, Cook Islands win this game as we sign off from Game 7 of the Mission Foods Nations Cup here at the OCDC Arena. It's been my pleasure. I'm Philip Gove. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for Game Number 8. Yeah. 